everybody, Survival Islanders, back again with another video. Don't forget to join the Discord and Roblox group. Links for, the, links for those will be in the description. Uh, this video today is going to be demonstrating how to make a door that'll break when hit by a certain tool and only that tool. And this will be, this is mainly for like games like horror games and everything, like the Mimic, the Maze, etc. Um, where like there were some parts of the Mimic where you got like a crowbar or something and you had to like break boards or something to go through to the next part of the level. So um, to demonstrate that, picked it up, got a crowbar. If I just walk over and touch this. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so using this as a template here, and I don't really feel like building it again, um, we're just going to go ahead and to first of all make the brick. Just copy this, paste this, take the part out of there, use the handle, delete the rest, uh, unlock the handle. I don't know why tools are always locked. Okay. Then I'm going to, in server storage, have a tools folder, which I guess is already there. And then in replicated storage, I'm going to have a tools folder. So insert object folder, tools, drag the first crowbar there. I'm going to actually edit something because I hate the one sound it makes. Okay. So now we have this. This uh, anchor that. I'm going to name... I'm going to get rid of these sounds real quick. Hold on. Now I'm going to name this the name of the tool that's given. You're going to... That's going to be important. So make sure that the giver is named the exact name of the tool within tools. So since this is called crowbar, name this crowbar. Next I'm going to insert a click detector. But then I'm going to insert two scripts. I'm going to name this one Tool Giver. I'm going to name the second. Oh, one sec. I'm going to name the second one Backpack Check. This script will make it so you can't pick up the tool again if you have it in your inventory already. It'll check and see if you have it, and if you do, it won't give you it. Okay, so for the first part, local, let's go with click. Let's just call it click. Local click will be equal to script.parent.clickdetector. Then local st total tool storage will be equal to game dot replicated storage dot tools. That's the tools folder. Local name, this will be the name of the crowbar. The name of your tool. Script dot parent dot name. This means that you no longer have to add names in quotation marks or anything. So the name of the item that throughout the rest of the script will be name, meaning this. So whatever this is, that's why it's important. Local can give equal to false. That'll be used for later. Click. Dot. Ah, hold on. Click. Dot and mouse click. Connect. Parenthesis. Function. Parenthesis. Player. Delete extra parenthesis. If not player dot backpack. Find first child. 
name. Then local clone equal to tool storage find first child name local cloned equal to clone clone. That means the object will not be cloned once clicked. Then you want to have it parented to your player's backpack. That means that's where it's going to go. Parent equal to player dot backpack. Okay. That's the first part. Second part, backpack check. Tool name equal to parenthesis. Ah, sorry, not parenthesis, quotation marks. Crowbar. That's the name. We now we'll use tool name for the rest of it. Uh, function give. No, wait, sorry. Function check. It's backpack check. Player. Oh. Check. Player. Forgot a letter. If not player dot backpack. Find. Find first child. Tool name. Then local tool equal to game dot replicated storage. Why did that not enter when I asked it to? I hit the enter key. Enter. Enter. Thank you. <laughs> local tool equal to game dot replicated storage. Brackets this time. Tool name. Clone. Tool. Dot parent. Equal to player. Dot backpack. End. End. Come on, go down. Thank you. Script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse click connect check. Okay, that is the second script. So now we have both systems going. We have our tools folder. We put our crowbar in there. Now under the door. Um, I'm going to give you the an unlock sound. You can go ahead and just uh, an audio, just find one, and then click detector. I added one too. You can just, I mean, I could delete it and just re-add it. You already know how to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and add two things. First thing I'm going to do is add another script. Wait, no, sorry. I'm actually not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to name it break because it's going to break the door and then I'm going to add a string value call it tool required make sure the name of your tool is in the valued section this will be so it's saying what tool is required to break it what is the what is the only object that will break this so that way if anything else touches it, it doesn't break. You get me? First part. This one's actually very simple. Function untouched hit if hit dot parent dot name is equal to quotations the crowbar then script dot parent dot anchored is going to be equal to false script dot parent dot unlock dot play playing equal to 
true. Script.parent. Okay. Definitely hit enter. Script.parent.can collide. Equal to false. Script. Oh my god. I hit enter. Script.parent. Dot transparency equal to one script dot parent dot invisible wall. I'm gonna do two of these, just copy and paste dot anchored dot can collide both equal to false. And then finally, script.parent.touched connect on touched. And now, if we go in, it should work. Okay. As you can see, now I have the tool. And there you go. So, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, please post down in the comments below. Leave us a like and sub, and we'll see you all again in our next post of videos.